Welcome back to Sandcastle Snippets on South Padre Island, the Sandcastle capital of the world. My name's Andy Hancock, and today we're going to show you how to use the block. I'm always talking about the block. It's a 10 gallon bucket full of sand and water, which we've filled up like the small one you saw in the last video. WD 40 means we can pull this big bucket off very, very easily, put it over there. And today we're going to show you how to mix and match these, these circles, these shapes using sand shapers. The small one we used before, and we're going to go to the 12 inch one as well. They come in a set of four, a pack of four, which we sell, of course. Go to the website. Um, so we're going to put those down in a minute, and then we're going to start with this. And we're going to offset it. We want to create a bit of interest. Do something nobody else is doing. A straight line? I don't think so. It's not a snowman. Okay, so let's, just, let's just take some of that out like that. And again, just start from a single point, and then just lift it away. Like that. Now, we're not, going to, we're not going to release everything because we're going to join it to another ball. Oh, look, I've mean, found something already. When you find something in the sand, oh, which is a, a tie off a fork, lovely, um, we're going to put it there for later. Uh, we have to fix that so we can just press some damp sand back into that and just repair it so it's perfect, okay? Very simple, we've got great sand on South Padre, so leave that one there so you don't forget which ball it goes to. Then we're going to do this. We're going to start a much bigger ball. This is a 12-inch ball, okay? So, we're going to start this. We're not going to release it all, but we're going to do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to join these two together and make a bit of an abstract, show you how to use the spatula as well. So, um, uh, give me a minute, let me work on that, and I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back. Um, you can see we've released this ball, we've done the, the larger ball, we put half a ball in here. We just, we're just playing at the moment. <coughs> then get your spatula out, just to cut off the spatula like this and just trim around the ball. Now one of the things people always ask me is, how do you know that's going to stand up? Uh, the answer is I don't. Um, but unless you try something, you'll never find out. Like I said, unless you're living on the edge, you're taking up too much room. So let's cut that away from there. And I'm already breaking my own rule, which is we should always work from the top down. But until I've got those until I've got those balls in place, I can't decide where I'm going next. So I have to put those in place and then go back to the top and make this work. And I like nice, sharp, clean, faceted edges. I just think it looks really cool. So, so just keep your spatula nice and straight and flat, very gently. Go around like that. So you can cut and use the right sphere, not the wrong one, Andrew. And just cut in like that and then go back to that line use the right sphere and do that so you can see how those lines appear nice and sharp we cut in and then we just release it like that you can see we've gone right round to this I'm not sure how long this is gonna last in this beautiful sunny day I mean if you want to know how good South Padre is it's uh, the middle of February and it's uh, probably 80 degrees today so it's just fantastic being here and we have the best sand in the world too obviously so we're going to go around here and we're going to do this and let's put put a nice curve in it just make it up as you go along everybody says to me where do you get those designs from uh, I get them out of my head and as I've also told people the inside of my head is a complicated place so that's why some of these designs come out a bit crazy but that's the whole point have some fun you know let go so many people have to have it drawn, planned out, and we just don't do that when we're doing abstracts. We just let it go. So, so let's take this out as well. Get a bit of shape to the thing. We want the last thing, as I've also said many times, is the last thing we want this to look like is the bucket that it came from, and that's extremely important. If you're in a competition, and the judges are walking by, they're going to say, uh, "Yep, still looks like a bucket." and they'll walk on. Whereas if you take that shape away and completely take the shape of the bucket away, they're gonna take a lot more notice of what you're doing. Okay. So we're gonna do a bit more on this and then we're gonna come back later. See? Welcome back. So you can see we've carved a lot more away. We've tried to get rid of that bucket shape. One of the things, you can't touch this. The edge is extremely delicate and, and, and all the other things. So you need your straw. Thank you, Whataburger, Texas. If you've never had a Whataburger, you're missing out. Blow those details off 
and then you can just sharpen those little tiny edges that are left and get things really sharp. And you can, oh, you can see we've worked all the way around. Okay, I have no idea how long this is going to last because one of the things we're up against is the great force of nature called the sun. And the sun is drying this out as we speak. So there's an awful lot of weight hanging off the front of this. So what we're trying to do is, is make this work for as long as we possibly can. So we're going to take some of the base away. Like I said, we don't want it to look like it came out of uh, a bucket. So we're going to take those. So I lo love double curves like this. When you do that, I'm a man. I would like double curves, but there you go. Right? Okay. We can do that and that. And a lot of a lot, one thing that that's the reason I said that is a lot of women come to ask me about these shapes and say, "Where did you want?" Where did you find the shape from? How did you think of that? And it doesn't, it just flows, you know? So, and I found that a lot of, uh, a lot of girls like the fact that it's just this random curved shape. It seems to um, appeal to the, the ladies a lot more than the men, so. Okay, so there we go. And what you can do to finish it off is just a bit of contrast around the base. Okay, and hopefully that doesn't look like a bucket anymore. And there you go, sand shapers, 8 inch, 12 inch, a straw and a spatula. I'm Andy Hancock, see you next time on Sandcastle Snippets.